what is the difference between the regular PIVX token and the ZPIV token that's inside the wallet? Yep. So the one way to think about it is there is no difference. It's, it's all PIV. It is what the network sees and then what somebody else sees, right? So, 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 so give, give us an example. When, when we send transactions to each other using the, the, the PIV token and then the ZPIV token. So if I send you 50 PIV, right, it comes from my wallet address to your wallet address, okay. we can then go on to the Block Explorer and see that transaction from address to address okay. the amount, all the inputs and outputs, right, yes. in that. So, which is a public ledger, right? So that's sending just normal PIV through the network. So that's just like a regular Bitcoin transaction, Dogecoin, Litecoin transaction. Which is still super fast and, you know, lower, lower fees. transaction. Hey, you can say it, man. Faster transaction, lower fees. The Bitcoin maximalists, they're going to shit a brick when they hear that, you know, but just go ahead. I'll say it. I'm sick and tired of these guys running around promoting tokens that don't transfer and don't serve a currency like it's supposed to be. So it's, I have no shame about that. Yeah, Everybody knows that on my channel. Okay, so I'll say it if you're yeah, afraid you to say it. Yeah, okay, it all right, so. So that's, that's a normal PIV transaction. So the regular PIV tokens transact just a reg like a regular Bitcoin or li li Litecoin or, 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 or Dogecoin transaction. Yep. Okay, so what's, how does the ZPIV? So in that, in that instance, let's say I wanted to send you some PIV. Yeah. And the reason why I would want to protect it, pick your reason. But maybe it's because I don't want you to be looking back and see how many or how much wealth I have or PIV I have yeah. in my account. So in that protocol, I have PIV in my wallet, right? It says, let's say I've got 10 PIV, and let's say I want to send you two. But I, I don't want you to know it came from me. Yeah. In wallet, you click mint ZPIV, yes. it goes through that protocol, and basically now you've got two ZPIV in your account. What it really is, is basically like getting a receipt that says, you, you can create two PIV, right? Yeah. There's no net difference in the network, right? Yeah. Nothing got burned at this point. There's no like, oh, all of a sudden these coins are disappearing. No, the, the network still shows, here's the total circulation, but I've got a receipt for two ZPIV, right? So if I, when I send it to you in that protocol, I basically cash in that receipt, two PIV, that receipt's burned, two brand new PIV are created and sent to you. So basically you get sent a freshly minted, no history PIV that can't be traced back to me and my accounts. So would you say that the Z PIV works similar to how a, a casino chip works? So if, when I go into a Las Vegas casino, right, I give them a hundred US dollars, they give me a hundred uh, dollars and worth of you the thing is only you have the specific identifier for those casino tokens so literally it's like the casino hands you two tokens and you're the only one that knows like you scratch it off and now you've got that identifier yep. only you know what that is okay yep. so when i send that to you yep. then the basically the casino or the pivx network Z -Piv. converts, it converts it back into a piv and, but beyond that it's like right there they made brand new $100 bills and handed it to you that have never been in circulation before. Okay, okay, I, I see now. So then what happens to the $100 bill that I originally put in? That's gone. So that's, so that's yeah. been burned? Mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, so the network burns the tokens and then creates new ones? Yes. In essence. Okay. So that way there's no historical trace or record of that uh, ZPIV. So would it, now, Okay, so that brings me to the next question is, why wouldn't you guys just do it so that's ZPIV all the time, 100%? Why only convert only 10% of the users' uh, uh, PIV tokens into ZPIV? Or let, let's just call it uh, public and private tokens, right? So, 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 so why, why, why does the PIVX network only convert 10% of my tokens into private tokens? Why not, why leave the other 90% public? The reason for it is this. Yeah. It had to be done in steps. We had to enforce the, the protocol, the ZPIV, the, the private protocol first. Currently, ZPIV don't stake, right? So your public PIV are staking. Your private PIV don't stake. But by the end of this quarter, actually, what, six, four weeks, five weeks, yeah. ZPIV you can stake, which is, again, another first for cryptocurrency. You'll be able to stake your privacy coin, okay. right? So then at that point, yeah, there's no reason why not to convert everything over and stake your ZPIV. And the other reason too is we're actually gonna provide 50% more staking rewards if you stake with ZPIV. Okay, then that's regardless. That's, that, 
that's that's regardless if you run a master node or not. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so that was the reason why they didn't do it all the way right away is because people then wouldn't have the ability to be staking. At this point, we're not going to enforce everybody converts to ZPIV. It's still choice. Like, yeah. you have the choice to send publicly if you want, and there might be a need case for that. But you also have the choice to send privately if you want. And if you do that and you convert a lot to ZPIV, your potential block reward will be higher. Okay.